Hallelujah, glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with a male. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, God bless you and thank you so much for stopping by. May he use this channel to minister to you prophetically. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. This prophetic word I'm about to release is um, strange. And I was asking myself, should I do this? Is this right? It, um, it doesn't really sound... It's not all that moral. As a matter of fact, the more I try to reason it, the more I think I shouldn't do it. But the Holy Spirit laid this in my heart. This is not just my own. Um, it's not just uh, my own. I just want to let the Holy Spirit minister to someone because somebody you should, someone should be in this situation, and maybe it's getting you depressed. You are asking yourself, what is the take on of God on this? Then the Lord sent me here to answer that question. You know, you can be in a vulnerable position and you have you you do not really have the ability to to act. You can be you, you, you can find yourself in a position that is not a good place to be. And though it's not good or right for you to do that, your willpower is taken away from you. You are not in any position to make a decision at that point in time. And maybe you are beating yourself and you are asking yourself, <clears throat> how how did I how did I get into this? How did I find myself into this? I shouldn't have. How did I? And the Lord reminded me of Bathsheba in the Bible. Now nobody has ever thought of how Bathsheba felt. The king washed her while she was taking her bath, and the king wanted to have her. I don't think it was an exciting thing for her, but the king wanted her. She couldn't say no, she couldn't fight. She yielded. And I just want to imagine how devastated she was when that had happened. Coupled to that, she lost her husband because the king was trying to cover his tracks. Imagine her being in that position Firstly, the king took her maybe against her will, and then secondly, she has to lose to she has to lose her to lose her husband because the king is trying to cover her tracks. Of course, she does not know the background story, but she lost her husband just after what had happened. And at that point in time, all she had was maybe the seed that was in her womb from the king, and she was hoping that was going to be her consolation. And God decides to take that child as well. But God says that he will not let you end up in shame. Though you have found yourself in a compromising situation, you did not plan to be there. Life's circumstances and challenges put you in that place. He says he will not let you end up in shame. The same way he, he did not let Bathsheba end up in shame. At the end of the day, Bathsheba's seed, the one she bore in her womb, though not the original child that came out of the act with the king, but later after the king had died, God still had mercy upon her and her son Solomon became king, the wisest man that has ever lived. So God says that that situation might not be the right one, but he will not let you end up in shame. God will cover your shame. Hallelujah. Do you receive this word with gladness? Does it give you hope? Do you know that God is with you despite the fact that you found yourself in that um, unpleasant situation? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.